Hey guys, it's Robin back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing good on this fantabulous Friday. Yeah, this is my second video I'm making for today, and I might end up making another one. It just depends on how I feel after this one. It is totally off the subject, but if this is your first time coming to my channel, thank you for coming to see what I'm all about and everything that's positive on this channel. Things that you need to know to make yourself better in life. You know, I'm just like a student and a teacher at the same time. And if you are a returning sub, thank you for coming back, fam, and I appreciate the support. Tonight, my video is about Twin Flame 101, knowing when you are getting in contact with your past loved ones that has passed on or, you know, um, or your spirit guides. It's like totally different from things that I usually talk about. Um, it is like I've always been in tune with that side of myself, even though a lot of times I got in trouble for um, talking about it or like if I was to give a message to somebody and it would make sense to the person I'm telling it to but it would kind of creep them out at the same time I would get in trouble by that uh, by my stepdad he was telling me that's not good to do but you know I think it could help people out when they don't know especially about things when they're confused about the spirit world so um today i'm listening to this relaxing sleep music it's very relaxing i feel like i'm about to go to sleep right now <laughs> but it's it's a very sensitive subject that a lot of people really do not like talking about um with me i really didn't understand it but it was like along the way of me growing up it started making more sense to me um and it was like things that when I was growing up, I didn't really know, like there's places I wouldn't go. There are certain places like I would get flashes of things that happened in certain places, especially when I was in Germany. I love like the agriculture there, you know, like all the buildings and stuff like that, and the, the castles. I love stuff like that. But there were certain places that my parents wanted to take me at the time, and I would be terrified to go in there. I would see things like in deep corners and stuff like that, and it would really freak me out. And I would just like, you know, count. I have to count for a few minutes because I would see things that would really frighten me. And my mom was like, you know she's very special she's able to she has that that sight and then my dad you know uh didn't really want to acknowledge that so it, this is the things that you you know after a loved one has passed on is very detrimental and it's it just depends on how close you are to them or how much you talk to them or stayed in contact with them to see if after they pass you know you always wonder you know do they do they still come back do they watch over you you know do they see the signs or do you see the signs to know they're okay and there's a lot of times i would see people that i know that are living at the time and i would wonder why i would just see them and they wouldn't say anything and they would just wave at me and i'm just like hmm okay what i never you know i wouldn't think anything of it and it's like one or two days later next thing you know one of my friends has passed away and that has happened to me more than one time and it would be sometimes I would see them and they would smile or they would wave at me or it would be certain things that we would talk about um, and then next thing you know it would come about again and I'm just like, why am I thinking about them like that? I mean, I love them to death, but I would just be wondering why I would be thinking about them at that time. And next thing you know, they would pass away or something like that. Or I have a feeling. And it's just a lot of people that, are, that were close to me, they would know. It was just things that I would know that I shouldn't know. And sometimes it's like some of my friends would be close to me like, you don't see any bright light around me or anything like that. I'm like, if you don't get up out of my face, no, I do not see that. So stop asking me. <laughs> you know, that was a very sensitive subject because it was around the time my mom passed. And it was just like I knew my mom was going to pass. And she knew, I guess, the way the dreams I was telling her that it was preparing me 
for that. So it's just when you get in contact with one of your your loved ones, sometimes it might feel like you might be going crazy. You might hear them whispering in your ear, or you might hear them talking in your head, and it's just like you might ask them, like, hey, do you hear that? And that is one one of the ways that um, your spirits your spirit guides or your loved ones get in contact with you. It's, it sounds like a whisper in your ear. And it's just like at one time when the first, when my dad first passed away, I used to constantly hear him and I, you know, I could get out the shower and just start singing purple rain. And I'm just like, why am I singing purple rain for it? And would not be thinking, you know, putting two and two together, you know, he was reaching out to me then. And I would hear him and I would just think, okay, I was going crazy until I finally heard the song, um, well, actually listening to it, actually hearing it some, somewhere here on earth. Um, when he said at the last verse, he said, listen, it's like a whisper in your ear. It's just like, you know, no need to be scared or something. I'm nothing to fear. You know, you're everything I hold so dear. And it made so much sense to me, even though I broke down crying, but then I'm just like, okay, I'm not going crazy, but he wanted me to hear that part because it really stuck out to me. And I'm like, gosh, I heard this song like a million times and now all of a sudden it starts, it makes sense. So it was like he was preparing me, even though I wasn't able to listen to his music growing up. It's like now I listen to him almost every day. <laughs> it's like, because I feel like I was hindered from hearing him. I wasn't able to listen to his music because I remember he was sending albums. Like every time he had an album made, we would get one. So, um, and all of a sudden it, it just all, it just stopped. So, or my sister had to take the, the, the video, uh, not the videos, but the albums with her. But, um, or you'll, the time they they probably pass or the date that they pass a lot of times I see 421 a lot and that's just like my dad trying to let me know hey I'm here or um, my birthday and I would see him at the time and it was just you know it's just a reminder anytime you, you have lost a loved one and you think about them and you just want to know you know do you can I talk to you? You can always talk to any of your loved ones. Anytime you miss them and there's like a certain movie that comes on or a certain fragrance that they might have worn um, or a certain phrase that they might have said, that is just them letting you know, hey, I'm here. Or I, I get a cool breeze every now and then. When I know there is no airflow going through, I'll just get a whole chill ripple through my body. And I'm just knowing that's my dad because I'll get really excited and be like, ah, you know, ready to go. Because that's when I know he's around because I get really antsy and just be like, okay, I know you're around. Okay, because I get excited like, you know, he, like anybody else would when they see him walking around. I just get excited like that. And so, um... So it's never a time when anytime you feel like that you need to go ahead and contact your loved ones or you feel like your loved ones is talking to you, you might wake up in a certain time of the night and it might be exactly around the time that they probably passed away or it could be the date that they passed away or a significant number that might resonate with you and that person that has passed away. So don't ever feel like when they are they pass, they are gone. They are never gone. They just moved to a different stage. So, I hope that finds comfort to a lot of people that has lost loved ones recently. You might feel that you miss them. Anytime you miss them, just get like a picture or something like that. And just sit in a quiet room and just think about the most happiest time you had with them. And just listen. And maybe you might get your answer. So I hope everybody is doing good today and I hope that might have been able to help somebody and many blessings to you and please like and subscribe. Hit the notification button so you know when I'm going to upload my next video. And any kind of experience you have had with the paranormal or your, your um, a touching moment that you've had with a loved one that's passed that you would like to go ahead and write in the comment box go ahead and let me know and i will talk to you later peace and be wild